Baptism is so it's so it's so important for a believer. And I'll say this before we get started. Um, if maybe maybe you got baptized as as a as a small child, a baby, and and you know, I believe the baptism is when you you've made a conscious decision to follow Christ, and and you're old enough, and you're saying this is my testimony. I am following Christ, and, and so I, I don't baptize little little kids. I will I will uh, uh, dedicate them to the Lord. Amen. And and I, I believe that's that's important. All my kids have been dedicated to the Lord. We pray and give them back to the Lord. You know we're raising them, but they're His. So that's important. So if you have little kids and you want them dedicated, we'll do that. But as far as baptism, it's when you're old enough to say, I've given my heart to Christ. I've given my life to Jesus, and I am going to I'm going to follow Him. To the best that I know how, and, and it's a surrender, and so that's that's all it is. And it's a testimony. And I've had this question too: Can I get baptized again? And I say, absolutely. You can get baptized as many times as you want. And to me, it's a testimony. It's an outward testimony what Christ has done inside of you. Does that make sense? Yes. Any questions? How cold is the water? It's pretty good. Find feet. out. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. Say uh, I have been a Christian my entire life, and ever since I joined this church, I have felt my connection to God grow stronger. Okay. All right. Would you, Amen. 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 You've asked, you asked Christ to come into your life. Yes, you have. And so you surrender and said, "I'm going to, I'm going to live for Jesus." Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, come on. We'll, we'll baptize you. It's a little chilly, guys. <laughs> I'm proud. I'm proud of this young man to say that he's he, he's made it. Uh, made his. Uh, so he surrendered his life to Jesus. He's made that dedication. And uh, Brody, you're going to live for Christ the rest of your life. Is that right? Yes. Yep. So Brody, it's our honor to. I'm going to pray for you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I pray for Brody, Lord. I know the Word says that. Uh, that he who started a good thing will complete it. So I believe that right now. I declare that over Brody's life. And so we just ask right now that you would be with him and guide him and protect him, lead him right now. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hold your nose. Okay. okay. We baptize you, Brody, in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, my wife has one hundred percent totally changed yeah. since February. Whenever I started coming here, um, I've had a lot of anger in my heart for the last ten years for a lot of things, and I've gotten so much love for the people that I had so much hate for. Now that it's amazing. Amen. That's good. Oh, Praise awesome. the Lord. That's awesome. This is Willow's mom. Tanya. Tanya. <laughs> That's right. I'm Willow's mom. She, so. they, told, they, you know, they told me on the way here, her name's Tanya. <laughs> and I, I know that, That's but okay. I keep forgetting. So, but God's good, isn't he? Absolutely. Yeah. So wonderful. And uh, so it just, it's just amazing to see what God is doing through each person that, you know, you make connections and you, you help bring people to, to the Lord. Every time you invite somebody to church or you, you tell somebody about Jesus, you may be reconnecting somebody to, to, the, to the body of Christ. So don't ever discount that. So it's so good. Your testimony is beautiful. Thank right. you. Let's... Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for Tanya. And I ask right now that you would just bless her. Bless this time. Oh, she's made a profession for you. And, for, and that she's gonna, she's dedicated her life to you. This is a te her testimony. So we thank you and praise you for this time. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, Tanya. All right. According to your testimony that you said, I've surrendered my life to Jesus, going to live for him the rest of my life. We baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. All right, I might be the longest one y'all going to get. <laughs> but I was uh, christened, I think, in 1957, the Catholic Church. And then 19 years later, I'm in Pensacola, Florida, <laughs> on a apprentice pipe fitter. And I was working next alone to a fitter who was a backslidden, according to him, a Pentecostal holiness preacher. He said, Rick, you're going to fight in Armageddon. And I went to the church, and I got saved. I got baptized. I was in the choir. 
my singing skills have not improved. <laughs> and I was there full force for three months, and then I got more into the world than what was the man that was in me. I was more involved with the man in the world. And then I go into Okinawa, Japan, and I'm in the Baptist church. <coughs> and that goes on for a while, and all kinds of things happened in that. And that's a possible podcast I need to share with you on yeah. something like that. Yeah. So then we come back to Okinawa, I'm a single parent, I meet Teresa. We start going to church and we find out the church we're going to, we notice we're watching people what they're wearing more than anything about the message. And it was uh, very formal. And then we, um, we continue to move on and I know in my heart what's right. I believe in God and I believe that I was saved. And I believe that I, I didn't lose my salvation. So the whole purpose right here is to rededicate my life and acknowledge that Jesus Christ is my savior. He died on the cross for me. So we leave Northern Virginia in 2020, and we come here to Chucky, Tennessee, and I meet a guy that's a fisherman. His name's Tim, <laughs> Tim Dent, and he's, um, and what's, my whole thing, I've, God has put people in front of me that were righteous. <laughs> Mark Johnson, first lieutenant, United States Marine Corps, I was a staff NCO. We followed throughout each other's careers, and he, we were with them a year ago in um, Georgetown, Texas, and we go to church, and man, I lost my I lost my stuff, and I just lost my father. And we come out of there. I mean, I'm I'm like I'm a crying mess. And the wife Linda says, "It's okay, you miss your dad, don't you?" And I'm like, "I know my dad's in heaven." I said, "It's not my dad. I can't explain it." So a couple of days later, Mark says, "We're going to get up at six o'clock. I do this every week on Thursday. I get up at five thirty, drive into Austin, Texas. We go to a liberal coffee shop." And when I say liberal, you just take anything you can think in there, and that's in that coffee shop. He said, I'm going to meet with three other men. One of them is my son, Major, and we're going to have a Bible class. And the reason we do that is so we witness to people indirectly. So we're there, and there's this lady drinking coffee, clearly. Clearly. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. And we leave, and Mark said, did you see that lady over there in the corner? He said, she was watching us. Like, I didn't, didn't notice. I was just so caught in what y'all were talking about. And then we go out to eat with them. And Mark, Mark is an amazing, his father is a pastor. And every time we go out to eat, it's always prayer. And I always felt um, incompetent about praying. I'm getting a really lot good. And, and a good example is right here in the church. So we sat down and, and he asked the lady, hey, we're, we always pray. Can we pray for you? I'm like, that was phenomenal. So when we leave, we continue on our trip. Mark says, Rick, you need to find a church. He says, um, you have a lot of talent to offer the church. Now, I'm 30 years in the Marine Corps, and Mark and I paralleled, and I'm like, you know, I don't know what kind of skills I have for a church. He says, don't worry about it. God will show you your, your skill. I don't even know yet. I don't know if it's a camera or my charismatic personality. I don't know. <laughs> so we come to Tennessee. And we, we just, both Teresa and I, we feel this yearning and we know about current events and we see what's happening in current events. So we decided we need to find a church. So we go to one church, not long before we came to this church and we got there and I think I was the youngest guy in the congregation. The pastor had a clock on the, on the podium with, watching the clock. And I'm like, you know, I think we need to get out of here. And I couldn't get out fast enough and I didn't. Because next thing I know, there's a lady teaching Bible, Bible class. And it was phenomenal. But that preacher ran out there. Because I, I get on the front row. I was in the Marine Corps. You know, you got to dumb it down. I got to get up front. Because I'm a slow learner. I got good company. <laughs> so we go to another church. And we miss the service. And it's like, God's in this. I said, it starts at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. And we get there in the parking lot. Everybody's dumping out of the parking lot. And nobody acknowledges me. No one wave. Nothing. I mean, I'm going real slow. So we pull out. And then it must have been a week later, Teresa says, I found this church. And she starts sharing your bio of the church and your background. And like, we need to go there. So we're going to go. I'm in the parking lot and I'm walking in and there's Steve. Where's Steve? Steve, right there. And I know Steve. And Steve knows me. And I'm like, man, I think I'm home. And I walk in and my dad's favorite preacher was R.B. Thame. He pastored a long time and he passed away. 
And I got all dad's tapes and all this. And he, he makes a lot of reference to translations in the Greek and Hebrew and all this. So I'm sitting down there. I get back on the front row. It would have been the front row, but my wife is not too happy of being on the front row. So you only see us in church in the second row. That's my concession to Teresa that, hey, you know, okay, I'll, I'll give you your space. Like the spitting zone, right? I'm That's all right. about the spitting zone. <laughs> so, you know, Pastor Tim's giving this sermon and I'm like, I'm on fire. Now I'm 66 years old right now. And my whole life, I've never been so excited about coming to church as I have this church. Amen. I'm telling you, it, it, I can't explain it. I cannot explain it. And I talked to him and like, hey, we're going to go. So I'm, we're traveling. So I'm on the, on the internet constantly making sure y'all know I'm watching. And I got some business cards. And wherever I go, I got, when I get my business card to anybody, which is our phone number and a copy of our picture of our rig and our website, and I also hand it with a church business card. Say, hey, this is my church. Not, I, not, not that I own it, but the church I go to. And check out, check out the app. Download the app. I mean, it's full of everything. I said, if you feel like it, say, Rick Dunnick said hello. I don't know if you ever got any of that, but it's been pretty good. <laughs> and I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> well, anyway, I got it back. And you young folks, I'm your future. <laughs> it's, it's pretty residual. So we were, we were at the first service, and I want to join this church. Well, you all know the prerequisite to join a church, you've got to be here three months. You've got to make sure you fit, and we got to make sure that you fit us, the church. So we go on the road, and I'm like, I'm ready to join. I'm like, so I made sure Jen knew, hey, I've been watching every Sunday and Wednesday <laughs> on, right? You've seen me hitting. I'm, I've been attending, right? So we attended the... Um, the um, Membership class. New member, or... Uh, new members orientation or class and it was absolutely phenomenal There's so much love in that and so much honesty and i couldn't wait to say yeah we're done and then we go back on the road and uh the road's tough there's a lot of bad people out there and there's a lot of good people out there and um you know we're going out on the road again the end of uh june wow. no end of this month and then we we'll back the end of june and all of july and we're out in August, back from August for a couple of days, and then up to the outer Rondex. So we'll be passing the, the cards. And Jen, I still have plenty of cards left. Good, good. I sure do. <laughs> so again, um, I'm so thankful that God has led my wife, Teresa, and I to this church. I believe that was the Holy Spirit. I felt like crap this morning. I mean, I, I've been, two past two nights, I've been getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I don't know if I'm wrestling with the Holy Spirit or the devil. And I come to church, man, I don't know if you saw the scowl on my face, but man, I was really hurting. And I kept Whoa, saying, Jesus, get the get devil that's out of me. Snakes coming your way. Right at your feet, Kim. <laughs> and that's why I won't get baptized in the creek. <laughs> so, <coughs> first service was good. Second service was off the hook. The Holy Spirit was there, and the Holy Spirit came into my heart, lifted it out of my soul. I look over my peripheral vision. My wife's got her hands up like this, and I'm losing my my cereal. I mean, I'm about crying. My wife's got her hands up. And like, man, we are, Lord, come on. So with that, come on. Amen. 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 All right. The main thing is Rick has given his heart to Christ. Yep. He said all that to say this. I've surrendered my life to Jesus. I'm no longer my own, That's right. but I'm his. Right. Amen. 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 And you're going to live for him the rest of your life. This is your testimony. And I hope we don't step on a snake. Yep. A snake? Yeah, but, yeah come on. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> I might be a Marine, but I don't know about a snake. That's cold on there. That's Okay. No hearing aids. Make sure everything's off. Yeah. I, I love, I love, hey, I'll tell you this. I, I don't mind snakes. I just want to yeah, first, personally, I, I love Rick. If you want to get to know a really interesting guy, get to know Rick. He's met many presidents, has served presidents. So that's awesome. What an honor. Yeah. But but the greatest one is the king of all, right? Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for Rick. I pray right now that you'd bless him. Lord, I pray right now, Lord, that the enemy has come and tried to uh, oppress and attack in jesus name we take authority over him and he's got to go i pray that that, that as he comes up out of the wall he'll just know that your presence is right there Amen. with him Amen. just like you did jesus when you come out of the water so we pray that right now for him encourage my brother in jesus name amen amen, amen. all right Rick. <coughs>
according to your testimony, if you give your heart to Christ, we're going to baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Jesus first. That's right. I was baptized when I was about 10. And then we, my family moved, and we never found a church that spoke to us. And now, as soon as we stepped in the doors of Cowboy Church, mm -hmm. it, we're back. That's it. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, Teresa, according to your testimony, you've given your life to Christ. You're going to live for him the rest of your life. Let me pray for you. Father, we just thank you. I thank you for Teresa. I ask right now that you would bless her. Lord, that, that, that she surrenders, she surrendered her life to you, that you would just honor that. This is her testimony. Uh, we thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Well, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Short, sweet, and simple. The Lord knows my sins of the past. He has forgiven me completely. And the devil gets behind me from now on. Amen. 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 That's Amen. it. I'm awesome. ready. I love it. <laughs> so you're giving your heart to Jesus. You betcha. You're going to live for him the rest of your life. Yes. We pray yes. for your Father in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray you just bless her, Lord. Lead her and guide her in the days to come. Lord, you said you'd never leave us nor forsake us. I love, she said that her sins are forgiven. So we thank you for that. And so I just pray, bless her, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We baptize you in the name of the Father. Okay, who's going to hold me? I got you, I got you. His Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. This was kind of a spur of the moment thing for me. We talked about it at the women's group on Friday and I was raised Catholic, had my baptism when I was a child and first communion and then confirmation. And I didn't realize that you could get baptized more than once until Friday. So when we were talking about it today, I was like, yes. I mean, we had talked about it, and I was like, I think I might. I think I might do it. Because uh, Eddie and I have gone through the gambit of things. We hadn't found a church until we came to Crossroads. And I think I've told a couple of people, we used to go to the Cowboy Church out in Moshon. Oh, that was sick. Is it too late to just get the splashing? Now you can't see it. It's not poisonous. It's not poisonous. I'm afraid it's not poisonous. So, we were traveling that hour back and forth, and we started seeing everything for Crossroads. And it was just like the Holy Spirit was sending us, go to Crossroads, go to Crossroads. We saw them at fairs, people out there representing Crossroads and handing out cards. And we went, and this church is absolutely amazing. I could feel my heart opening up from the first day I got there. And it has been oh, such a glorious event for me to feel everything coming in and just growing on the inside. It is fantastic. The good Lord, he is good. He is. He's so good. Yes. <laughs> right here, in front of you. In front what? of you. Right up here. He's just watching. Hey, he's curious. He's just watching. He's just watching. He's just watching. Yes, he does. But uh, I have accepted uh, Jesus into my heart. The Holy Spirit just gets in there. And it just, the anger that I used to have is gone. It is, it doesn't even touch me anymore. I just, I just look up to the sky because for me, that's where I look. I look up. And uh, I just say, take it away. Just go. And, uh, and it's gone. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So, Jennifer, you've given your heart to Christ. I have. 
And you've asked him to come in your life, you surrender everything to him. Yes, All right. I am. So let's, let's head out to the deep. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you for Jennifer. I ask you to just bless her, Lord, and, and as, as she's doing uh, an act of obedience unto you and, and her testimony, I pray that you just bless her and, and lead her and guide her. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right. Yep. We baptize you in the name of the Father, His Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. First off, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. It really means a lot to, to have this many people witnessing this. Uh, like, a, like Rick was talking and a couple of others, uh, I was baptized as a, as a young child in the Chattahoochee River, so it's cold too. And uh, I can't spell it either. I can't spell Chattahoochee or not. Uh -uh. But uh, I'm just grateful to, to, like Jennifer said, to have found the church. And as soon as you walk in, you know, uh, there's such a uplifting spirit of the church so much love and peace rick and i met at the men's retreat and mm -hmm. we were just alike you know not knowing first first retreat all this stuff is new to me uh so i'm just excited i'm, I'm in the new Ed part of it and i'm just I'm excited i missed church the last few times because it's gone but i could feel it this morning before i got there so amen. i'm really grateful to be here amen i i kept calling uh, eddie rick because we had so many Ricks come at one time, and I kept looking. I said, I called him Rick like a few times, and but I, I've got it now. It's Eddie. I don't think there's that many Eddies. Only one Eddie. Only one Eddie. So, all right, let's go back here. Oh no. Let me pray for you, Father. I thank you for Eddie. Lord, I pray right now in Jesus' name that you would just bless him, Lord. Bless his testimony. That you, he's given his heart to Christ. He's going to live for you, Jesus. And so I just thank you and praise you for what you're doing. Bless him. Lead him and guide him. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yep. <laughs> we baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. You levitated, didn't you? Howdy, everybody. I'm Harrison. I uh, came to the church in 2019, kind of the same way. So uh, Steve, a pest guy, he came to my house. He was uh, doing doing his spraying stuff, but he just gave communion, and he was like, you go to a church? I'm like, no, I don't, actually. And that's because I was sent out here. Uh, I, I feel like it is a mission of God. I don't think anything is by coincidence. I feel everything is divine intervention. There is free will, of course, but I... My pastor, he was told me not not you, Pastor. Yeah. I'm but, not his pastor. No, no, you are my pastor. <laughs> oh, I am his pastor. No, but okay. but in California, my pastor from back over there, he told me go look at, and learn about the Book of Acts. And of course, Pastor Tim, right as I get here, he's like, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna have a Bible study about the Book of Acts. So, couldn't be a better place for me to call home. I just wanted to rededicate myself to Jesus Christ, just because I feel sometimes that walking with the lord is harder than any boot camp and in some situations tougher than a deployment amen you know amen. just being obedient to the lord is truly one of the hardest things for me to grapple with and i always feel like i'm never doing enough and the sermon today i wasn't planning on getting baptized but the holy spirit convicted me that i need to rededicate myself to christ for me to be more like him and less like me mm -hmm. i i just want to do good by god and no better day the first time i was baptized was on yom kippur of 2019 five years later now i'm getting baptized on the day of pentecost i don't think there's any better day to get baptized than right now and i'm so happy Amen. to see so many people feel the same way that i do Amen. Amen. Good. It's okay if there's no snakes. That's all that matters. <laughs> Harrison don't like snakes. Harrison don't like snakes. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody like snakes? Anybody like snakes? Steve likes snakes. Hey, Steve does like there snakes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harrison is an encouragement to me. I, what I love about Harrison, I love about a lot of the people that just got ba that got baptized, is they are just so raw with and, and honest with, with the, where they are. 
you know, and the, and the Lord, and that He's everything. So I'm thankful for that, aren't you? Yeah. Let's pray. You know what? You know what? You know what Harrison needs? Get behind him. Okay. <laughs> you want to be in the building. Right. I think it's a Harrison. I don't know. All right. <laughs> Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would just fill Harrison with your Holy Spirit. Amen. That's what he desires, Lord. So as he walks in obedience to you, Lord, I pray that right now in Jesus' name. Just touch him, Lord. Lead him and guide him. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. We baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Victory! This is Teresa. Everybody say hi, Teresa. Hi, Teresa. She give her heart. She give her heart to the Lord this morning. Amen. Mother's Day, uh, my mom went to the hospital and is, is still in the ICU and um, in Pennsylvania. And so from Tennessee, we drove to Maryland to get my sister and then to Pennsylvania to be with my mom, who's on multiple forms of life support and everything. And I, the whole drive there, I told myself, I hope this isn't, that wasn't the last time that I got to hug her, or the last time that she told me she loved me, you know, and uh, when we got there, she was on a vent, so she couldn't speak to us, but then we all gathered around her in a circle and held hands, and we prayed for her peace and for her many other things but I prayed that that she would be able to tell me one more time one more time that she loved me and they took her off the vent and she had enough strength to tell all of us that she was proud of us and that she loved us and I just remember telling myself the whole time gosh I'm not strong enough for this not strong enough for this. I don't know what I'm gonna do. And then I was strong enough for for it, and I'm still strong now. And it's only because of him. And I don't know if I'll ever be able to repay that. Back. So Teresa, you said this morning that you surrendered your life to Christ. You said I, I, I give you everything that I have. You said that at the, when you come up front. And so, uh, according to that testimony, we're going we're gonna to baptize you. And that's the next step of obedience is, is we surrender. We say we believe in Christ. We confess with our mouth. We believe in our heart. And then the Bible says to be baptized in the name of the G Lord Jesus Christ. So, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> let, me, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for Teresa. I pray, God, that you would just lead her and guide her. Lord, as she committed her life to you this morning and she's testifying in front of all these, these people that she's now a new creation in Christ. She's asked you to come into her life. She's surrendered. Lord, I pray that you just keep her, lead her, and guide her Holy Spirit as she steps out in obedience. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 There you go. We baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. I want to share with you, okay, before we leave this place, is I, I, I'm thankful for our church. I am. But the, the one thing that you want to always remember, it's Jesus. We want to make sure that we know that Jesus is the reason that we exist as a church. And it's his love and it's his Holy Spirit that shines through you. I, I love, you know, how many people are here because of Steve? One, two, three, four. Steve, right here. Steve, the bug man. The bug, my, the bug my, man. He's he's one of the greatest evangelists, right here. Amen. 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 And so, um, but it's the it's not Steve. It's the Holy Spirit inside Steve. Amen. 
that invites people and tells them to come and, and to, to share a meal. When we come to church, we share a meal together. That's the Word of God. And so it's not, it's not the church. It's Jesus, okay? Because I always get a little shy when I, when I start thinking, when, and this might be by, bad, but when someone starts complimenting me or the church, I always want to push the glory to Jesus. Because if ever we take the glory for ourselves, we, we'll, we'll fall as a church. But it's Him, okay? Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. <laughs> Let me pray for everybody. Just grab somebody's hand beside of you. Let's pray. Let's come together. Father, we thank you for this day. Thank you for all your blessings. Thank you that you love us and you care for us and that the, the wonderful services we had this morning, Holy Spirit, that you moved. I thank you for the lives that dedicated themselves and, and show of baptism. And we just thank you for that. Thank you, Jesus, that, that you came. And so I pray as we as we leave this place, if some go to and eat uh, the picnic lunch, that you'd bless the lunch and bless the time of fellowship afterwards. We just give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. Everyone says, Amen. Amen.